What's going on there guys? Good evening. It is the Earthmaster here checking in with a uh, quick update video on the uh, earthquake activity taking place around the globe over the last 24 hours. It is uh, Thursday evening, November 4th, 2021 to date, about 8.52 p.m. California time. Latest quake, a 3.0 earthquake striking out here around the Puerto Rico area. A little swarm of movement taking place in there. Also, a bunch of deep, deep earthquake activity kicking up around just south of Japan and also around the Fiji Islands area. Seen some uh, some pretty significant deep movement over the last 24 hours. <clears throat> Turn off the earthquake 3D bell. There we go. Man, did we have a significant uh, solar storm last night kick off? Uh, looks like Southern California, parts of Southern California, or I should say all the way down to Southern California, seen, well, the Aurora Borealis. I want to show you guys right, right off the bat real quick here from the spaceweather.com uh, website. So Aurora is in California, believe it. Last night, the glow of a strong G3 and geomagnetic storm spread almost to Los Angeles. Uh, looks like Aurora Chaser... Uh, this individual right here took this picture just outside of Lincoln, California. That's way down south of me. Of course, here in Northern California, we had some uh, cloud cover and some rain. So I was just out of luck when it comes to potentially seeing the Aurora Borealis here in California. Uh, looks like things have mellowed out and calmed down. But we did see some KP indexes up above the 7 threshold. Right around 7 or so. Looks like uh, some of them were just slightly above the 7 KP index. Since then, things have calmed down dramatically. Looking at the sunspot activity, only uh, right now just 25% chance of solar flaring on a C flare status. As you can see, the facing Earth or the facing sun side got some sunspots here, but they're kind of diminishing back around the uh, uh, sun here. On this side, we'll get some uh, better views of what's coming at us within the next few days. We'll see if things uh, kick up once again with sunspot activity uh, on the beautiful uh, star called the sun. Looking at Yellowstone thumbnails real quick. This is the Yellowstone overview of the seismograph stations in uh, Wyoming. Not a whole lot going on, folks. Doesn't look like much at all, if anything. No microquakes really to report. And, of course, no magma movement. All GPS stations look typical and average for this time of year, and uh, things pretty mellow there at Yellowstone National Park. Uh, zooming in to the United States here with a 2.5 and above map here. Shows a couple of earthquakes throughout Idaho, Washington, and into parts of Northern California. The all magnitudes kind of painting a little bit uh, more active picture. Utah, north of the Salt Lake City area, seeing a little swarm of movement around the border of uh, Idaho. In Utah, just a couple small micro microquakes well northwest, and these are pretty shallow as well, well northwest of Logan, Utah. Things in California kind of calming down. We don't see a whole lot of movement, or we haven't seen a whole lot of movement over the last 24 hours. This kind of looks uh, very quiet. I mean, there's, there's always earthquake activity taking place, folks, but uh, just uh, doesn't look like your typical day in California when it comes to earthquake activity. No major swarming either to report. Uh, we did see some microquakes around the Los Angeles area, area and around Glendale. See a little swarm of movement near Chatsworth, California. This area up here off of the uh, Chatsworth Fault. Just some microquakes for now, but uh, things just kind of kind of creeping slowly down there in the Southern California area. Uh, look at the movement over here around the Big Island of Hawaii, we're seeing an increase in activity around the southeast flank. You can see some movement uh, kicking up here pretty deep, 32, 34 kilometers. A little earthquake up around the uh, Mauna Kea area as well. As far as the movement, or as far as the volcanic activity um, in the beautiful state of Hawaii, way out there in the Pacific. Let's see if I can get that to kick up here. One second. I could have swore I had a shortcut for that, but maybe I didn't. We'll see. Uh, let's go over to Kilauea. I've seen a little update on it. It's still sitting at an orange watch level. 
Um, looks like... Yeah, there's been a couple a uh, couple articles put out here. But I don't think we we've, we've seen any major any major change yet at the Kilauea area. Like I said, still mentioning uh, color code orange and alert level of watch. All the other volcanoes on the Big Island look uh, typical for the moment. Let's look at the uh, PNSN network real quick here. Only a small handful of epicenters in the parts of Oregon down here along the southern end of the Cascadia. 21 epicenters over the last uh, 24 hours here. Pretty, just a very small amount. I think we're kind of seeing a little relief out here along the North American plate. Look at the activity out there around the low he Seamount, the underwater volcano. Haven't seen too much movement out there. A little 2.4, 11 kilometers. May want to keep an eye on this area. Things could be uh, ramping up there on the Big Island and offshore. Uh, but yeah, getting back to the uh, the lack of activity here. Even though the, the map here is kind of lit up with a bunch of microquakes, there's really not that much on, on this map here. Uh, looking at only 79 earthquakes, uh, when normally this should be in the hundreds far as the general microquake activity along the west coast is pretty pretty small amount folks um, Alaska kind of swarming up there that's very typical for this area looking at uh, 5.2 along the Aleutian Trench 35.8 kilometers Japan quiet did see that 5.3 around the Mariana Islands it's pretty significant deep earthquake activity around the Philippine plate uh, 564 kilometers for that earthquake. Some further deep activity along the southwestern part of the Pacific Ring of Fire through New Zealand, New Zealand, and also, uh, uh, well, just south of New Zealand, 5.5 at 10 kilometers. So, uh, watching that area pretty closely as well. The Kermadec Trench seen some deeper movement in the uh, southern part and also to the north part as well. Uh, just be watching pretty closely for some possible surface rupture up here between these two points. Kind of keep an eye on that pretty closely. Uh, what do we got into the uh, Oklahoma state uh, north of Oklahoma City? A couple small earthquakes out there around the Perry, Oklahoma area. Pecos, Texas, seeing some general movement. And uh, New Madrid area looks pretty quiet. Just a little small quake out uh, around the, what is that, Minya, Arkansas? Hopefully I uh, pronounced that correctly. 2.7, 16 kilometers in the uh, mountain ranges out there between the uh, almost the Arkansas and Oklahoma border. All right, folks, uh, Puerto Rico also kind of swarming, but nothing like we've seen last night. We've seen the, kind of a trail, a trail of activity up here to the northeast tonight. Just a couple small quakes. All right, folks, going to jump off here. Got a full house tonight, so got to tend to uh, some little ones. We will chat you guys a little bit later. Stay safe out there and uh, always be prepared. Peace out.